Auntie May, you are better off than I. You said that you were told at 11 o'clock this morning to be a beer and say a few words uh, for Shane's uh, passing. But I was told that 15 minutes after one, <laughs> so you're all ready to come in. Shane's dad said, uh, you know, say a few words. But uh, I can tell you this, uh, in Islam on customs and traditions, um, when you go to a church, whether it's a meeting or a funeral service, or where a village, is, village council is meeting, when you are asked to speak by a, a, a church minister, a pastor, or an elder of your family, of your village, you just have to get up and, and say something. You, you can't say, no, no, I'm no, sorry. Uh, that is against the, the rules and customs of um, our lovely country. Tarvalava. <coughs> Pastor Bevan Smith. Uh, Reverend Maisaia, <laughs> Oya nana umai oya foi na ditoya besia. It was God that brought change to this world. And it is God. Let us take it. My wife and I are from Wellington. Uh, we are based in Wellington. And three days after the tsunami struck uh, Samoa, a message came from the Plymouth that my wife and I would have to come to New Plymouth in order to visit and say thank you to the donors for the tsunami victims. And so we got into our car and we came, waiting for us at the hotel. and a few others that I have forgotten. They said, this is our mayor's hotel, Mr. Peter Tennant, and we have booked a couple of rooms for you and your wife to stay here until the time of your return to Wellington. I said, no, 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 
you don't come in business and what? No, no, no. These two rooms have been booked for you. So I said, well, thank you. And then change it. Uh, we are going to start working within an hour's time. <laughs> so uh, we're going to have lunch. And then we're getting into the cars and off we go. That's change. Uh. Now, we were taken to uh, this place where there was a huge office, a big table. And then I, I, I think it was the general manager that Shane introduced to me as we walked into the room. So he said, this is your, your seat, this is mine, this is uh, Salevi's, and this is the general manager's sitting next to me. You know, he, he, wasn't, he wasn't at the head of the table, but he was sitting on the side. So he said, well, this is one of the gentlemen. It's firm as often. This is that. And this is the start of our work. He said, sure, I'm here to work as well. After that day, we visited about <coughs> seven or eight donors here in Plymouth. We went for lunch. He took us to some place where he said, I'm going to shop lunch. And uh, off he went. He uh, said, um, would you like a wine? I said, no, after work we'll have a wine. No. And after that day, each, each uh, place that we went to, Shane would say to me, uh, you, would you thank the people first? Then I'll take, take, I'll, I'll take over from there. And that's what really happened. You know, I would just say, uh, thank you so much, sir, for helping uh, Samoa, uh, uh, for what you've uh, given. And then Shane would, sometimes before I, I intend to stop, Shane will take over. <laughs> Yeah, so, so I, you know, it, 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 it struck me and I said, oh, what a, you know, what a, what a man. So after that day, we went back to the hotel. That was before we went and so Mr. Peter Tennant, the mayor, um, I said to Helen, you know, what a man. He looks young, but very aggressive in his ways of doing things. And I can see that he was getting things done for his country. So we went uh, to the mayor's office that evening. The mayor had all his crew there, all his uh, people. And the meeting was as if it was between Shane and the mayor. <laughs> the mayor was saying, well, you know, we'll, we'll arrange for this and uh, we'll arrange for that. And I would just say, oh, thank you, uh, your worship. But Shane was, well, you know, I thank Shane for doing that. Because most of the things that Shane was talking about, I, I had no knowledge of. Uh, we went to this big factory where Shane showed us a, uh, this couple, this lovely couple. Uh, Shane had said, well, I have um, the air conditioner for someone's wife here. Would you show us the water, water treatment plant that you, you're going to give us so that we could send to someone? And the plant cost thousands of dollars. So the couple so happily came out and showed us the plant and said, that's the plant we're going to send to Samoa. You know, as if he owns the plant. <laughs> but uh, you know, as we all know, when you meet somebody for the first time, you would watch his demeanor, uh, the way he speaks, the way he carries himself. And, and that is where you should make an assessment of the person. Uh, from that day, 
you know, it came to my mind that Shane was a leader. He was a man that could do things the proper way. He could motivate people. Like when we went to this factory, I'm sorry I forgot the name of the factory, the general manager and the other managers came, we had a big meeting, we had a, a coffee, and then Shane, come on, let's go and help um, packing the container. <laughs> So here we were lifting hoses and, and chairs and crowbars and tombs into the, the container. Ah, can you get what I'm, I'm sort of driving at? I, 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 I picked up stuff, you know, wait a minute, with a suit on. <laughs> so I said to myself slowly, you know, nobody heard me, I said, if some of the Samoans in Wellington or even Samoans see me doing it, they say, well, what? what? <laughs> but I, had, I just had to follow Shane. I, I, I liked and I enjoyed what he was doing. Now, when they were ready to send stuff to Samoa, he rang me. He rang me and said, Ashi, we would like you to come with us to Samoa. But if we can give what we have collected to the Prime Minister. I said, no, no, no problem. I'll just have to look up my schedule and see whether, you know, I'm able to go. But then, when time came for Shane and uh, uh, Reverend uh, Limu and um, other members of the Samoan community uh, uh, departed for Samoa, I was not able to go. I said, Shane, you go ahead, I'll be coming afterwards. I've got my lot here in Wellington as well. They are waiting. So I think Shane only went to Samoa once with uh, Reverend Limu, I think. And Reverend Limu and his Samoan community in Plymouth had been there about three or four times. Now Shane is a man to me that likes working behind the scenes. He, he can get things done, he doesn't want to be up front. But he would like to, you know, um, work his heart out in, in arranging things. I said to him, uh, I, well, he said to me, who shall we see in Samoa? I said, the Prime Minister. I can make arrangements and I could set a date for you to, to be in Samoa and then you would go there with Pastor Limbo and present what you have with the Prime Minister. Nobody else. So he agreed and that was, that's what happened. So Shane would ring me. Oh, I've got this, I've got a truck. I've got, I really got a truck uh, arranged, a uh, heavy duty truck. So I think uh, Reverend Limbo would know. Now that Shane has been taken to heaven, <laughs> I, I, I think the arrangements for the truck have not been completed. But I'm sure Reverend Limu and Alevi and Sunny Vafsuanga and a few others of the Samoan community will take over that road. It's up to you. Now Shane's gone, but it's up to you. I'm not sort of urging you to do it, but you know what's better. Now, uh, in December of last year, Shane rang me and he said, I said, I'm coming to Samoa, my parents have already gone, and I'm coming to Samoa uh, in December, then I'll be there in January. I said, well, what, what are you going to Samoa for? And he said, well, my parents and my grandfather wanted me, wants me to take a, a title, a Matai title. I said, ah, oh, you're too young to take a title. He said, no, no, I have to go. Shane knew uh, that he had to go and do it. So I said to Helen, well, we'll have to wait for Shane when he comes to Samoa. I said, give us a ring. This is our phone number. Home. Give us a ring when you come. When you're about to take up the title. So Shane ran. And I 
Chi Ching, when are you going to have the first full moon of the time? And he said, this coming Sunday, this was Thursday. And he said, I would like you and your wife to come along to the first installment of my title in the village. I said, Chi, listen here, listen here, brother. Um, you, you, you're a New Zealander, Samoan. I'm Samoan. Friends don't go to bestowment of titles. <laughs> Only your village and your immediate family. If I go there, they'll chase me out. <laughs> so please, bear with me. I'm sorry, no, Helen and I won't come. <coughs> I said, Shane, please forget it. I'll talk to you when we get back to New Zealand. So Helen said, well, uh, we'll have to send Flory, our daughter, with something for Shane's uh, instrument, for his title. So Helen, find maths, uh, you know, money. So we said to Flory, tell Shane that these are just a few uh, presents for the occasion and make sure you tell him that nothing comes back. <coughs> we are just helping him out and that's it. So Flory came back and said, what did you tell Shane? Oh, Shane's father was there and I said to Shane, Mom and Dad said, these are a few things for your tight title and make sure that nothing comes back. And what happened? <coughs> The day after, I was around the house doing a bit of work, and then uh, a car arrived. Helen said, I said, Shane, 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 Shane. <laughs> it was Shane and his dad. They brought fine mats. Cases or hearings. I said, Shane, you know, we did not present what we gave you in order for you to come. No, 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 no. It's it's our own customs. <laughs> it's our own customs. <laughs> I said, well, okay. Because in our customs, uh, it's rude. If what's given to you, uh, you say no, you take them back. So we said, thank you. Shane, Shane and I have been on the phone a lot of times. You know, I like listening to Shane. <coughs> so excited. I like talking to people who who talks good to you. Uh, you sort of learn from. So I like talking to Shane. And it's a pity. But we all know that God. Thank <laughs> you.